Good day to World Bioeconomy Followers Forum, followers from all over the world. It's great to have you with us. Today, we are celebrating another one of our award winners that were recently announced at our forum held in Belém, Para State, Brazil. I can tell you that the uh, awards gala dinner was one of the highlights of the event down there. It was an absolutely great night. Um, there are four awards this year, the Bio Act of the Year, Bio Products of the Year, Bio Person of the Year and Startup of the Year. The World Bioeconomy Forum Awards are designed to promote the incredible work going on in the circular bioeconomy in the fight against climate change and to create a carbon neutral world. So today we're delighted to bring you an interview with Christopher Von Berg, who is Deputy Head Economy and Policy, Sustainability Assessment, Policy and Strategy at the NOVA Institute. It sounds like a very important job indeed. The NOVA Institute received the Bio Act of the Year Award with its Renewable Carbon Initiative. Christopher has been part of the NOVA Institute since October 2017 and works actively on the Renewable Carbon Initiative. He conducts life cycle and sustainability assessments of bio-based products and materials. Hi, Christopher. Delighted to have you with us and congratulations on winning the Bio Act of the Year Award. Hi, Mark. Thank you so much for the introduction. Thank you so much for the invitation and thank you so much for the award. Happy Excellent. To Excellent to have you with us. Um, so let's go straight in and ask a few questions. Um, can you describe the NOVA Institute uh, and, and where it fits in uh, when talking about the circular bioeconomy? Absolutely. So the NOVA Institute, we call ourselves the science-based consultancy. And our focus is um, nowadays, we call it renewable carbon for the chemical and material industry. But our original pillar and our main pillar when we started 25 years ago was biomass and the bio-based economy and how we can help the, the industry to bring more biomass into products, into chemicals and into the material sector. We've branched a little in the last five to 10 years and we are now also looking at direct CO2 utilization, so CCU, carbon capture utilization, and also chemical recycling, but the bioeconomy and also bringing it together with the circular economy and achieving a circular bioeconomy that's always at the heart of our business. Excellent, excellent. And um, can you uh, describe the Renewable Carbon Initiative a little bit further? Absolutely. So um, at the end of last year, we as NOVA Institute decided that it makes sense to push for an initiative that develops the topic of renewable carbon and the renewable carbon concept. And we came together with 11 founding member companies and created the Renewable Carbon Initiative in September 2020. And today we have already more than 30 members from the chemical and material sectors who are part of the initiative and help us drive the initiative. The main idea of the Renewable Carbon Initiative is to transform the raw material base of the chemical and materials industry to switch from currently fossil-based system, fossil carbon, to a system that is based on renewable carbon. And here the circular bioeconomy is one of the three essential pillars because it provides us the pool of renewable carbon for which we can derive the solutions to replace fossil carbon and that's biomass. And the alternatives I already mentioned briefly is direct CO2 utilization and also recycling. And we put all three together into the renewable carbon concept. And here we have a big overlap with the circular bioeconomy. Excellent. And, and how is progress going on that front? Uh, it, progress is amazing, to be honest. So we have a lot of interest. We have many very active companies. We have lots of ideas of what to do and how to do. And we also see that the idea that we are proposing is being picked up outside of the initiative. So there's a lot of interest from companies who feel like this is a good idea. But we also slowly do see policymakers and the public picking up the idea and the concept. So we are very happy with how it's going at the moment. Excellent. So optimistic about the future? Very much. Fantastic. Brilliant. So um, can you tell us how you feel about receiving this award and perhaps the reasons why the Nova Institute actually got the award in the first place? What sets you apart? Yeah. So for us personally, we were totally surprised, very surprised to receive the award, mostly because the initiative for which we got the award exists only for just a year. And we very much feel like we're still gearing up. We In the first year, we mostly were about bringing the idea out there and getting people behind us and, and companies behind us. And now we are actively starting to work on activities and strategies and papers and so on to really bring the concept out there. So for us, it was a, 
uh, quite a surprise, but a very welcome one. Um, when you ask for the reasons why we think we won, on the one hand, we do think that the concept is very unique in regards of the simplicity. So it's very easy to, to, to align with different sectors of the chemical industry who have different targets and approaches, but everyone agrees that the overarching goal, renewable carbon, is a very feasible and good concept. And in that way, we unite the chemical material sector. That is very unique. Um, and also, we, we kind of refocus the core question that the industry is looking at away from um, uh, bio-based issues or recycling issues more to, to a raw material supply question. So we want to get rid of fossil carbon. We need different raw materials that should be renewable. And that's like an overarching concept that we are driving. And we feel that is very welcome in the, in the sector and in general. Fantastic. Excellent. Yeah. Great, great. Um, so taking a more general view, uh, how do you see the importance of the circular bioeconomy mm -hmm. when it comes to the health of the planet and the mitigation of climate change? Yeah, okay. The importance of the circular bioeconomy is essential in my eyes and also in our eyes um, for, for multiple reasons. So when we just talk about climate change, and I'm looping back to carbon here, or maybe climate change in general, there's two major reasons for, for climate change. It's the greenhouse gas emissions that get released into the air, and that's mostly based to, to fossil carbon we take out the ground and then burn for energy or material purposes. And then there's also land use changes that lead to the emission of additional carbon from trees that are felled and or releases from soil and so on. And, and both these topics, the circuit bioeconomy can address and help because on the one hand side, a sustainable circuit bioeconomy helps with land use issues so that we manage our land properly and sustainably. And on the other hand, for the fossil resources that get released, the circular bioeconomy is one of the alternatives to provide renewable raw materials instead. So in regards to climate change, the circular bioeconomy is essential, but also thinking a little further, not only at climate change, when you look at the sustainable development goals, we think that the circular bioeconomy is a very relevant pillar to support goals like life below water and on land, looking at biodiversity in particular, but also zero hunger is one of a, one essential goal, provide food for the people, good health, also based on a proper food um, and also clean water. So there are many, many other sustainability goals where the circular bioeconomy is essential and where we think it's a crucial part that it has to play in a future sustainable economy. Excellent. So, so you're based in, in Germany. Um, what, what, what is the, the general feeling? Or is the general public, are the public getting the fact that the circular bioeconomy is, is a very important thing? Is that permeating down through to the consumers, do you think? I think it is, but it is also quite slow and it's a, it's a difficult slope because often people have this principal understanding of bio-based first ideas that's very good. And then when they learn more about it, they also realize there are some stepping stones, some issues along the way that make it not as simple and not as black and white as you might think. And then they get more critical about it. And, and that is an issue that, that I think the bioeconomy has encountered quite often in the last 20 years. Yeah. But nonetheless, I think science keep pushing for, for the concept of a bioeconomy that sustainability as a long-term solution. And that is also what needs to be addressed and where the, what the public and policymakers need to be convinced as well. That's the circular bioeconomy is a central pillar for the future. And I do think people in general understand the concept, but it's often too complex to convince them in, yeah. in specific matters. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, we've all got a lot of work to do. So, um, well, Christopher, thank you very much for your time. That was excellent. Congratulations mm -hmm. once again on winning the award. And thank it you was so much. really nice to speak to you. Thank you. Same. Thank you, Mark. Have a nice day and talk to you soon, I hope. <laughs>